guys, welcome back for another must-have recipe in Nathi's Vegan Kitchen. So I've recently gotten some requests for some breakfast recipes and I wanted to do something different than when you think of vegan breakfast. I feel like everybody thinks of like tofu scramble or oatmeal or I guess pancakes because yeah, but never really like frittatas because normally that's made with eggs but there is a super yummy equally as good uh, vegan version which is made of chickpea flour so as you know or if you don't know chickpeas are a really good protein source for vegans and chickpeas are so versatile like you can make so many things you know you can make falafel you can make pancakes out of chickpea flour, you can make hummus, you can make, I don't know, the list is so long. There's so much you can make with it. You can even make a faux vegan egg salad sandwich with chickpeas. So all of that goes to say that it's so, like I said, versatile, so you can make so much with it. So for this one I wanted to make some chickpea frittatas and these are the perfect, if you're hosting like a brunch or if you just want to make some for the week, they're really great for that because they are small, you can take them to go, um, and they come out so cute. <laughs> and if you've seen my other videos, you know I kind of really like things that look really nice when you make them because it just makes me feel all like bubbly and excited because it looks really nice and it feels like you won the gold star for baking something well. So, I don't know, that's just probably just me. Um, anywho, so I hope you guys really love this recipe as much as I do. I will definitely make this a staple breakfast for me and trust me, top it off with the guac, which obviously I like to make mine homemade because I don't like the taste. I feel like it has a certain flavor for the refrigerated guacs that are normally pre-made. That's probably just me, but if you also want to save on time, then just buy some at the store and put a dollop on top, and it's really good. I would recommend, though, if you're storing them, just don't put the guac on top. Leave that on the side. Put it in when you're going to eat it. Um, Alright, so let's get to cooking.
aren't these as cute as I said. <laughs> um, I, like I said, I'm obsessed with this recipe. I feel like I'm gonna go crazy with chickpea flour, which I feel like it's it's kind of a new thing for most people. It's not something I, I don't I don't think most people know about chickpea flour. Um, and again, it's literally it's just dried chickpeas. I swear. Now this is just one version, so if you there's so many different like flavors that you can make with this chickpea frittata. So if you like like you can put cheese in it, you can put tomato, you can put basil, you can put uh, make a Mediterranean one and put some feta cheese in there, put some black olives. I mean, there's so much. It's like making a tortilla, right, or a, a quiche. So there's there's just so much you can make with these. So I hope you guys love it i hope you make some more make sure to um let me know and share if you do make this one um hashtag mouthy's vegan kitchen and i can't wait to see you guys next time